Ramble. Thank you to Liquid IV, Cuts Clothing, and Coors Seltzer for sponsoring today's tripod. Hello and welcome to another episode of The Tripod. We've got a special day planned for you all, but first, introductions. Who am I pointing to? The host of today's episode. Eugene. And who's that? Hey, what's up? I'm Zach. I'm playing for uh, everyone watching back home. Thanks for thanks for watching. Thanks for believing me. I'm going to make you proud. And over here we have... I'm Keith. I'm from Tennessee, and I like balloons. <laughs> and running the ones and twos. What the fuck's up? It's what your you boy. Eating? I'm eating a fig cake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You yeah. Got, you got extra? Nah, there's some in the kitchen if I you want, want some. I want a fig cake. I can go get you some. Yeah, I'll wait. Okay. <laughs> Gotta be covered in ants. <laughs> And our final contestant and over here. And I'm Ned. I like warm hugs and tax returns filed on time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Keith. Yeah. Hit us with this game show theme song. Bum, 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 bum. What's the word? What's the word? What's the word with Eugene? Yeah. What's the word? What's, What's the word? What's, word? What's, What's the word, word with Eugene? Eugene? Okay. Okay. Miles, give us some background on this. Uh, where did this game come from? Hey, big boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> this is a game that we popularized in episode 76. Seven of the tri- <laughs> seventy eight of the tripod, right. um, where Eugene brings in a special secret word, and everybody takes that word, brings it into their brain, and spits out some garbage. What's the word? What's, What's the, the word? word? What's, What's the, the word? word? With Eugene. Okay. Woo! Woo! But this time, because Zach started a contestant identity thing going, we're gonna uh-huh. gamify it. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and live. I am going to decide by the end who is the winner and who's a shitty, shitty Ooh, loser. Wow. Basically based on whoever happens to have my opinion. Yeah. And that's the word. Yeah. That's the word. That's, that's the word, word with Eugene. Eugene. So I'm basically just doing this word <laughs> random generator. I'm going to say the word. Y'all are going to discuss your opinions on it. And I'm going to decide who's right. Uh, you know, because... This is where we're at now. We're just having fun. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. is what we need. All right, we're Eugene. Vibing. So everyone's word. word. What's the word? What's the word, Eugene? All right. It's time for the first word? The first yeah. word. The first word. The first word. The first word, Eugene. And everyone at home, start I'm placing sweating. placing your bets on who you think will win because it really truly is anyone's game because we are making this up as we go. <laughs> Welcome to What's the Word. Here is your first word. Your first word with Ooh. Eugene is... Cruise ship. Oh, oh cruise boy. Ship. Controversy. Buzz. Go ahead, Zach. Buzz. Cruise ships suck. Okay. We should outlaw them. They're done. There's no room for cruise ships in the year 2020 of our Lord and Savior. They're just little fucking <laughs> cesspools of a virus. And then people vomit. And also, like, the fuck are you doing on a cruise ship? Yeah, I mean, You're just, the, it's a floating hotel with, with bad amenities. The only thing you ever hear about cruise ships is everyone getting norovirus <laughs> and shitting their brains out. And that was before coronavirus, where then you just hear everyone getting coronavirus. I was a child and I went on the big red boat and I had a fucking great time. There were Looney Tunes characters. It was a what blast. Is the, what is the big red boat? The big red boat was the like Warner owned <gasps> property co- like co- uh, competitor to the Disney Cruise Line. It wasn't actually owned by Warner. They just licensed a bunch of like those types of characters. However, I learned the Macarena on that <laughs> fateful Whoa. trip. Well, then that's a pretty big day. And then after I got off the boat, we went to Disney World. You're kind of selling me on this cruise ship. Maybe we, you guys want to take a cruise? I got lost on the boat. <laughs> and I found my way Oh no. Because it was big and I was nine and I was so confused because it was a big red boat. And then they had little shuttle boats called little red boats and I got seasick on it. <laughs> You know, it's true. I've been on a cruise ship once, and the only thing I could think about was this would be great for like a nine or a ten year old because oh, they're old yeah. enough that you can just you can just let them go. You can just oh. let them run around, do whatever, because they're not going to leave. They're I, not going to fall off. I just remembered that I crashed a bingo tournament on the main deck, and I sat <gasps> with some random old lady, oh. and uh, she said I was her good luck charm. <laughs> oh, she, no. And she did win, and I got five bucks. Wow. wow. Yeah, Dude, good. cruise ships sound awesome. I had a great time. Wait, yeah. Zach, have you never been on a cruise ship? No, so my parent, my family has always just been very anti-cruise ships. They're like, that's stupid. Like, why would we go there? We can go 
anywhere else and not be on the water. I think my mom gets seasick. Maybe that's part of it. So uh-huh. I just, I've grown up in an anti cruise ship household. And to be honest, growing up, I'm like, I kind of want to go on a cruise ship. I want to mm. know what all the fuss is about. Yeah. I mean, in terms of like seeing culture, you're kind of, you're in a. <laughs> it's a, the anti culture. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're in a, a kind of a sameness void. Well, you go to the Bahamas. Yeah. And- but you're there for like three hours. <laughs> yeah. It's not the same as like <laughs> living in a city for, true. you know, four or five days. That's true. By the way, there was a norovirus outbreak at my college. And it was wild. Every single person that I knew was like, you're sick? I was like, yeah, but yeah, I guess I could still take a hit of that joint. And then every <laughs> single one of my friends yeah. got norovirus. It's it very is contagious. three wow. days of nonstop shitting and vomiting. Uh, welcome to the tripod. Uh, it wow. just was the worst thing that I've ever experienced personally. Hey. Miles, wow. you got a horse in this race. I want to hear your cruise ship opinion. Your horse, Miles. I <laughs> like boats. Mm-hmm. Thank and, you, Miles. Yeah, I've never been on a cruise ship, but I've always thought it'd be cool because then you can do like a slip and slide, but you're on the water, but you're on a boat. Yeah, there are water slides on a boat. How fucking nuts is that? That's cool. Should we start the tri cruise? Okay, <gasps> hear me out. Ooh. It's a big boat. Rob Gronkowski did a did a cruise. Why can't we? Weezer did a cruise. Why can't we? We're just like them. We're exactly like uh-huh. them. Yeah, We're exactly like yeah. Them. Uh, we Both could have a cruise them. where there's different quarters. We actually we split the boat into four quadrants. Super right? dope. Okay, for, yes. based on each of us. In my, in I my, call the bottom. <laughs> 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 I call the base of the boat. <laughs> Suckers. That's like all the, the most, bedrooms are blue. <laughs> <laughs> that's the most dangerous part. You want to yeah. be higher up when there's <laughs> a, a the, Titanic situation. For the thrill seekers out there. <laughs> all right. So I've been on a cruise. It was an Alaskan cruise. Ooh, so I would do that cruise. Good one. Oh, yeah. Sponsor. So it was very, um, the crowd was older. Mm-hmm. There was lots of seafood. What in your life was this? This was when my little sister biked to Alaska from Austin for charity. Oh, oh wow. That's She's a long bike ride. crazy. But it was good. It was for cancer research. Is that the bike ride where she like... The birds, birds. Oh, she she put a bird out of its misery with her bare yeah. hands. Yeah. Uh, oh my god, yeah, that's it's a different so story. Intense. She got a different kind of story. She got very in story. touch with her her nature uh, side. Yeah. Did yeah. she pour, put the blood on her face? She did. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. My Keep family going. is very. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna brush over that. Breeze by it. But you know, <laughs> I, in front of our live studio audience in Orlando, Florida. I say. What's the word? What's the word? Here's the word. Wait, I want to hear more of your story. Well, it was it was boring, but it was also beautiful because Alaska is really cool. As you went to all the little islands, so it, I think cruises also depend on where you go. Yeah. I think the actual cruise itself, the idea of it, is kind of gross. Yeah. So I'm kind of split between. You know, I'm gonna give Keith first right now. Yes. Because I, his story made me laugh. Yeah, I'm gonna it say, awesome. you know, <laughs> even though you've never been on a ship, I'm gonna give Zach the second spot wow, he's because really you were very passionate. Wow. <laughs> Ned, wow, I liked really I, I liked your opinion, but it was not as funny as key stories. Yeah, okay. But Miles is gonna be in last because okay. he just said he liked like boats. Game as I do without, like boats. <laughs> without it, I think boats are without cool. Without elaborating. <laughs> Eugene, somebody described me in the comments as a simp for Eugene, and I, <laughs> <laughs> I would just like to say, thanks for including me. Oh, you know, you know, maybe okay. You are now you get the two points, and I'm bumping Ned to bottom. Wow. Oh, rough. Oh, I get to be on the bottom of the cruise <laughs> hey. All right, so do you see Titanic? They were partying the hardest in the bottom. They were the coolest people. <laughs> yep. I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah, they, they were. were going for it. But yeah. then they then they all died. Sure, but most people died anyway. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you watch Titanic and you go, I want to be Billy Zane or like I want to be having dinner where I have to like know where my little forks to go? You want to no. be Leo DeCaps. You want to party on tables and paint naked ladies. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Why don't they make a... Tit- well, I guess that's probably why they wouldn't make a Titanic experience cruise line. But it, where it's like the movie experience, but without, without all the sinking. Without all the sinking. The Titanic experience. How does experience. it end? That would be fun. The yes. first half of Titanic. Yeah, well, they, the they first have half. A- it's they called made a, first act. They made a cruise where you do you do the same voyage without the sinking and the iceberg, without and the you sinking. dress up in the old school like Vic- post Victorian wow, garb. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, and scary. My and favorite, my favorite story about my mom uh, that she'll be furious that I'm telling. Uh, she and my sister went to the Titanic exhibit in New York, oh, yeah. and they have a recreation of of the stairs, like the beautiful mm, staircase. Meet me at the clock. And oh, I remember. You, this. you know how your parents like when you 
sometimes like when you tell them to be quiet, they just get pissed. So my mom goes to the tour guide and goes, now, excuse me, is this the real stairs from the Titanic? And my sister goes, mom, shut up. And she goes, well, what? Let me ask you. It's like, mom, shut up. And she got mad. And she's like, let me ask the question. Is this the real stairs? And uh, no, ma'am, they're on the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> and then she uh, broke down crying and realized, or laughing, crying and realized that it was the dumbest thing she's ever yeah, asked. It's the dumb question. <laughs> But yeah. funny. Okay, what's the word? What's the word? What's the word with Eugene? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> word number two. And this Wh is just a random word generator yep. on some website. It's like the Pictionary word generators. Oh. Oh. Word number two. Maybe is... this is a game. Maybe we can make a board game out of this. <laughs> just <laughs> just talk about words. words. Here's a word. I believe this, this is just guy. like I a flashcard <laughs> entry to like I don't college. Think it's, this like, is not uh, a game. Uh, there's <laughs> icebreakers. <laughs> Cards against humanity, but about your opinions about things. Also, you need a friend named Eugene to play this. Yeah. 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 Well, mm -hmm. it comes with a little action figure of Eugene, and, he, and you push the button, and you hear the song, and then you throw out a word that you've you recorded. You've recorded. Uh, yeah. And then we release updates. It's like, with over 150 new words. <laughs> <laughs> And Eugene kind of likes screws. Ned, are you okay? Oh, God. I, uh, just, I just burped right as I was running out of breath. <laughs> oh, God. Very disorienting. Your last breath. <laughs> My last breath was a burp. <sighs> this, uh, this game show's already off the rails. The word? I love it. The word is nap. I controversially do not nap. The only times I ever nap ev any time in a year is if I am sick and I did not rest mm. properly the night before. That is the only <clears throat> time I nap. I never nap. I'm a no napper. I didn't nap in kindergarten. I didn't nap in college. I don't <laughs> nap now. I don't nap. Keith, go the fuck off, my dude. <laughs> Naps fuck me up. If I take a nap, it ruins my whole day. If I take a nap, something bad has happened. And sometimes I want to take a nap because I don't sleep well, right. but it, it wrecks me. Look, you guys are correct <laughs> and all like factually, uh, but naps are my dirty little secret, my guilty <laughs> little pleasure. Oh, I know it's bad for me. I know it's not actually going to make go me off, feel daddy. better. Yes, but daddy. if it's like a Saturday <laughs> and you don't have anything to do, okay. or Naughty. like even a Friday, and Ooh. if you took the day off, like you're uh, talking about like two p.m. ish, a like, little two p.m. nap, just Post get lunch. dirty you're with bad. it, and okay. you're like, bad. it doesn't matter if you don't feel great afterwards because you <laughs> fell asleep in the middle of the day. I also imagine as a as a parent, naps, huge for you. That's that's a time that you get back. Uh, that's true. When, yeah, when, when true. West goes it's down. It's also sort of time that you just don't, you you lose forever because you're just asleep. But Oh, I meant when West naps. Yeah, when, oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, when West naps, that's you can finally do whatever you want. So even if you want to sleep, that's great. If you want to like do something else, that's great too. Now but, naps, yeah. bad. Nap sacks? Awesome. What What's a, a fun nap word nap for nap a backpack. Oh, nap sack? Oh, my God. Like nap, nap sack. Fucking awesome. I Love it. like a weird sleeping bag. Uh, I, okay, <laughs> so there's one type of nap that I Connect. admit that I do sometimes, and that is the watching a normal procedural drama sitting on the couch dad nap <laughs> where you fall asleep <laughs> like this. <laughs> you fall asleep just with your head sort of back on the couch yeah. and you it's an actual little cat nap it's like 15 or 20 minutes and you're just lulled by some t boring tv show into a pleasant upright seated nap i can get down on that from time to time mm. y'all want a nap hack oh yeah not a nap sack nap hack uh -huh. nap, nap hack have a little bit of caffeine oh yeah then Take a nap. True. The caffeine's going to kick in in about 20 minutes or so. You're going to wake up and you're going to be ready to fuck today up. Mm -hmm. That <laughs> advice has always made sense like in my mind, but when I put it in practice, it does not work. Because the first sip, you're like, I'm ready. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. And just the just the idea that you're drinking Start coffee wakes you shitting up. shitting everywhere. <laughs> Miles, <laughs> give, Miles, what's your nap opinion? I wake up real sweaty. From the nap. I do agree. Naps are warm. I'll wake up sweaty and kind of disoriented. And if you go more than 15 minutes, you're in no Big no trouble. zone. No Big no trouble. zone. You sleep too hard. You sleep nap too, too hard. hard. Yeah, nap too hard. I did take a nap on my birthday recently. <laughs> and <laughs> recently, birthday now. <laughs> one of my more recent birthdays. One of my more birthday recent, and it was good. It was a good nap. I only did it for like fifteen minutes, and I did the caffeine nap. I took a coffee, and then I went to sleep, and it worked. 
Okay, if you're to nap, what's what's the time threshold? What are you aiming for? Two hours. Ten minutes. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Two hours? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Dude, if you're going to go that's for it, heavy you, you got to go for it. That's like two run cycles. 20 minutes, it's like, what's the point? I did that in college when I was pulling all nighters. When I'm a big man, adult, I do yeah. a two hour nap. I figure you're a dad. You're getting it while the getting's good, right? You got yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's micro sleeping at that point. I don't know what that is. That's, Eugene, I don't sleep. So <laughs> <laughs> this might not be common knowledge, but I suffer from insomnia. Yeah, Woo, that's true. Yeah, Therefore, go off. Naps are wonderful. <laughs> respites in my day mm. especially with the 2020 having us inside most of the time i enjoy a nice siesta in fact sometimes my body just happens to force itself to siesta mm -hmm. i'm gonna say <laughs> i'm gonna say you don't that nap you collapse ned you yeah. went from last and now you got the first place oh, wow. oh wow i liked wow. also how sexual you made it i sound. do yeah well, it is a little dirty because you don't feel great after a nap that's <laughs> yeah. true you guys yeah. are correct um <laughs> you know i think i think miles <gasps> I didn't understand what you were talking about, yeah. but I kind of liked this your enthusiasm and also the <laughs> also you're a simp for Eugene. Also, yeah, I you're simp. So I'm I'm giving you I'm giving you the second place. I Oof. do stand Eugene. I enjoyed uh, both both Keith and Zach <laughs> were anti nap up top, but I'm gonna say Keith set that tone, so I'm giving him the last place points. Oh, oh dang, oh. that's true. I yep. came out the gate being like, fuck naps. Man, this yeah. is anyone's game. That like, totally true. turned wow, everything's wow. the order in its head. Wow. I have trouble staying hydrated throughout the day. I'm always trying to chug my water bottle, always trying to do what I can, but it's tough. And believe it or not, dehydration occurs daily in three out of four people. But with Liquid IV, you have the fastest, most efficient way to stay hydrated because each serving helps you get as much hydration as two to three bottles of water. Not only are all versions very hydrating, but they also have an energy one. So not only am I getting like hydrated, I'm also feeling good. I'm up, I'm ready to do videos with the Try Guys, talk with my boys got lots of energy and i'm not dehydrated that's huge now you may be wondering what makes liquid iv so effective well it's the perfect balance to help you hydrate more quickly and effectively than water alone because water like is good but you need more than just water you know you need more than just water because one stick of liquid iv in 16 ounces of water can give as much hydration as two to three bottles of plain water seems impossible but guess what we live in the future now and anything's possible. Liquid IV is available nationwide at Costco and Target, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code TRYGUYS at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order, anything, when you use promo code TRYGUYS at liquidiv.com. Get better hydration today at liquidiv.com, promo code TRYGUYS. Okay, I just have a nap question sure. uh, for the nap kings over here because I always, okay, so they say like a 15, 20 minute nap or like a 40 minute nap. Those are the perfect units of time. Mm -hmm. I know you disagree with two hours. I just always have this nap well, anxiety. Perfect for what? I mean, two, like I said, two hours is terrible for you. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not good. It's, the best thing is to go to bed at exactly the same time every night, wake up at the exact same time, and have that time be enough sleep that you need to go through the day. But Ned, what I like Naps about why bad. you're getting top scores yeah. is you know it's scientifically bad, Yeah, but, but I do, do it, it anyway. Dirty, dirty boy. <laughs> dirty this boy. is a Ned's dirty, dirty dirtiest secret. secret. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, think What's the word? What's, What's the, the word? word? What's, What's the, the word, word with Eugene? Eugene? Ah. Round three. The word is. I found Velcro on the floor. <laughs> <I'm Velcro. laughs> Velcro on the floor. The word is sweater vest. Oh, you don't like this, Miles? Sweater, sweater vest. Sweater vest. <gasps> wow. Sweater vest? Sweater vest. Two words. Well, it's two words this time. <laughs> We're going crazy. Wow. Oh, What's God. your opinion what on a sweater vest? opinion on a sweater vest? I'll, I'm going to go ahead and say I've probably worn a sweater vest less than three times in my life. Wow. Like when would I have worn one recently? It's to me, it's, it's pretty popular toddler apparel and, um, snarky Ivy league school student apparel or Hogwarts student. Mm, they wear a lot yeah. of sweater vests or a stepbrother's Halloween costume. Yeah. That's uh huh. True. Uh huh. It's typically more, I guess it's associated with intelligence but right. like douchey intelligence. Yeah, like wealthy intelligence. I think Old money. Old money, mm -hmm. brainy. 
because you want to keep your chest warm, but like leave your uh, leave your hands free to I, like I, push down the the people that what? don't have as much money. As I, you. Want, <laughs> I want I want reverse. Oh I want God. sleeves, <laughs> but you nothing just, in the middle. Want yeah, big sleeves. Because my torso always hot. You should get basketball yeah, sleeves. Hot. My limbs. <laughs> Old is that a thing I could do? Yeah, they have like you're compression right. sleeves for right. to get you better at shooting. I you need really the opposite. You just need the sleeves. Need yeah, sleeves. I need sweater sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> sweater sleeves. Yeah, Can somebody who's listening fasten me a pair of Christmas sweater sleeves? Ooh, with like a strap across. Yeah, with like a string that connects yeah. the two arms so that they don't slump down my hands. I feel like I should be getting more sweater vests. You I should. mean, I am an Ivy, Ivy League, League. Yeah. douchebag on <laughs> uh, I, I'm West, afraid of it. You and Wes could match. I could match Wes. We do dress Wes up with a lot of sweater vests. Adorable. But I feel like sweater vests are the fashion moment that I'm I'm afraid of, that I'm not fully embracing mm. um, my, my people. Mm. Mm-hmm. I just like it phonetically. I have nothing, you know, I don't encounter sweater vests. I'll never wear a sweater vest, but I'm always looking for very specific words to use in comedy. And the sweater, like someone screaming like, mom, grab my sweater vest. It just mm-hmm. is a more specific, funny thing. Yeah. And I'm going to incorporate that into some of my life. What about you, Miles? We're smart guys. <laughs> like they're, Taj Maori? Yeah, they're for smart they're guys, smart I feel guys. like. For sweater vests, like I think Ned's correct that if you wear a sweater vest, it's sort of a symbol, similar to how glasses also make you a smart guy. Mm. Mm. But I feel like glasses are for the people. Sweater vest is for the one percent. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> They're elite smart guys. I don't think I could pull off a sweater vest, but I'd be willing to try. Picture someone wearing a sweater vest in your head right now. Is it Bill Gates? You bet it is. Doug Funny. Doug Funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, Bill fuck. Gates I do Doug like Funny. Doug Funny. You know, I think based on all your answers, I got to give it to Keith because the sweater sleeves is a very, very <laughs> funny product funny. pitch. Yeah, sweater it's a good idea. Funny. Eugene, do you think you could pull off a sweater vest? You know, I used to wear a sweater <laughs> yeah. vest in college occasionally. Yeah. What? I just, had, I just had two that I got from my stepdad because he used to wear them in like you the 70s. You the 70s and 80s, they were kind of big. So yeah, I'd wear them with like a button down. Sometimes I'd put a tie so it looked very, Ooh. very Ooh. like Ivy League. Ooh. But it was very much like me being a naughty schoolboy. You bad. You wore a coat over it probably. Sometimes I put a coat over it. Yeah. Mm. Zach, I'm so sorry. It's taken me so long to this podcast to say something, but the flap of your collar is up. Uh. Fuck! And you look <laughs> like an idiot. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, wow. You look, oh no. So no! It's been up this whole time. What do you do? Why did you let me get away? With I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, I should tell him, and Why then we would, then me? we would sing the funny song, and I would forget. You know what I've would help? You know what would here. help keep the flap down? Huh? A sweater vest. <laughs> a sweater vest. <laughs> a sweater vest. <laughs> Man, <laughs> Zach, <laughs> I got, I got to give you the lowest points it, on this. Yeah, I, I think, you, I think I, I should be. Descri- I'm gonna leave. <laughs> no, no, no. You're still in the game. You're still in the game. I just, I feel bad. I, it's still, it's gonna get fucked up again. It's probably jacket. Take my bandana. Put it over the collar. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> just like that. Just like that. that. Just like that. Yes. Zach, that's cool. Yeah, there we go. Okay, what do you think? If I tie it, are you thinking like this? Yeah, so if you're not watching on YouTube, yes, I read comments. Uh, Zach is now wearing it like Oh, your collar got bib. all fucked up underneath it. Okay, thank oh, God. It's <laughs> fucked up underneath, but it's fine. Yeah. All yeah. right, now I'm, a, like, now I'm a bandit. I yeah. feel like Eugene pulls it off that look pretty good, and you're kind of rocking it now. What? The bandana look around the neck. You're such a simp for Eugene. This is my moment. Yeah. <laughs> I love wow. it. I love, it's very, I love this. It's a deep bandana. Ned, it's I like I liked that fashion edition you just suggested. You're getting second place. Oh, nice. Votes. Nice. And Miles, yeah. thank you again. Giving you the third place. <laughs> I like Appreciate how shit you are over there. Yeah. You're having a great time. I'm yeah. having a ball. I need to, you know what? I got to get the mirror out. I got to, I got to. That looks make good. Sure you look good, Zach. I like you're, this look. Uh, you're, just saddling up for dessert at Ooh. Olive Garden. <laughs> <laughs> it also looks like you could be like hiding a goiter because it's very like pronounced. <laughs> a goiter. Yeah. yeah. You know, when you, the neck growth from a lack of iodine. Okay. Pop- that's what that's from. Yeah. Really? That's, that's why we don't have them anymore. That's one of the reasons huh. they made iodized salt is because people just didn't have enough iodine. People got goiters. Yeah, and now we that. just keep iodine in our salt for yeah. really no functional reason. We have plenty of iodine in our diet. Yeah. It's good to have. But we have plenty. You shouldn't be. You're not using iodized salt. Well, of course not. That's how the government controls your brains. I'm not a fucking <laughs> sucker. I, I have some iodized salt, but I also have sea salt. I have multiple salts. Yeah. 
I, okay, here's a question for you guys. I'll like, you know, you salt your, you salt your little pot and pan to, uh -huh. to bring your bot water to a boil. Uh -huh. right, so right. we have our fancy salt, like our Himalayan pink sea salt. Yeah, yeah. And then from a, without a recipe that we filmed at home, I have like that big old fucking Morton's mm -hmm. tub. And so I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to use the Morton's tub yeah. for, for the pan. And Ma Maggie's yeah. like, no, you got to use the good stuff. I'm like, that, no. this is no. water, oh, no. water season. No, she's wrong. She's, she's wrong. wrong. You listening, Definitely Maggie? Definitely don't listen to You Can Sit With Us. Maggie. Like, bad See, advice. Maggie, you're yeah. wrong. Oh, girl. You're crazy. I mean, sure. Like, maybe if you're like a rich sweater vest person, <laughs> you can use your fancy salt in the water. Yeah. I dip my will... rock into the pot and then I put it back in the cabinet. The reason you salt water salt is rock. to make the temperature it boils at higher. It's right? not to impart a ton of flavor to the noodles. Well, that's controversial. Some people say it is actually to season the noodles. Well, it does to season the noodles, see? but that's not like the primary yeah, reason, right. I think. What is the science? I know that it does bring the the boiling temperature boiling point easier but why how it raises the uh, i think as uh, there's more like particles uh in the uh in the water itself mm. that also helps I, you I float don't quite you remember you float like easier in salt but there's like a couple like it like it'll make the freezing point lower it'll make the mm -hmm. boiling point higher Eugene is bored. This is not <laughs> yeah. a word All right. from Eugene. What's the word? What's, What's the, the word, word Eugene? What's the word with Eugene? Okay. He saved me from my Dead Sea story. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's called Le Chatelier's Principle. The word oh, is... I like that. I'm into it. <laughs> the word is Chick-fil-A. That's not a word. That's a pro proper noun. It's a Pictionary okay. word generator. Here's my thing about Chick-fil-A. Bigotry might just be the secret ingredient that makes it so <laughs> delicious. <laughs> you know, do I want my chicken to be made by bigots? No. Is the chicken objectively phenomenal? Yes. Well, I don't think if the employees the secret, are the bigots. No, but the know. chicken's got to come from somewhere. Just and maybe true. the chickens are bigots. That's. But I want to mm. eat, if I'm going to eat a chicken, I want to eat a bigot chicken. Because I want to be like, you should... It, Die it, for yeah. what it you was said. you're killing bigotry by eating all those big headed chickens. Exactly. I I would say as someone who knows a lot about a lot of different fast food menus, uh, I think that now that the Popeye's sandwich is so good, and now that the Carl's Jr. slash Hardee's chicken tenders are so good, I no longer see it as like a problem that I can't have Chick Fil A because of the big, you know, the, mm. the you know the bigotry. So because I have <laughs> other, I have other chicken outlets that are not bigots. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. you know. Can I just revive? I want to add sure. to my statement for people out there. I did stop eating Chick Fil A <laughs> when it came out, and it really hurt me because I did not grow up with Chick Fil A. So I moved uh, to L.A. Yeah. The first time uh, I ever had Chick Fil A was here in Hollywood. I'm like, holy oh, that must fuck! Crazy for you. This is incredible. Yeah. I've been yeah. eating this Burger King Very chicken good. bullshit. Yeah, and oh, then the like, Burger King chicken was, was your frame of reference. Yeah, man. Oh God, it's some of the worst on the market. <laughs> it's better than McDonald's, but then Wendy's. I got Wendy's pretty good. But anyway, McDonald's got better too. Like. Maybe seven months after I moved here, eating Chick-fil-A is when this whole thing came out. And I, I had to, like, sacrifice this new love and, mm -hmm. and rip it from my I heart. Sacrifice things for what you believe in. I mean, they I, also I, have look, really good fries. Delicious. Yeah, good they fries. They do have the good waffles. The waffle fries are good. And the, the sauces? They have the sauces some secret sauces so that many, are dope. So They're so sauces. good. Oh, A full like, rainbow of sauces. It's crazy. I like <laughs> it and all, but, like, it's nothing compared to Shake Shack's chicken sandwich. That shit Slaps. Shake and Shack. Shake Shack right now is offering a promotion of their spicy chicken sandwich, which Wait, I had. Keith, do you have a secret sponsorship? No, yeah, I, I wish. I fucking salesy. wish. I know. I know. I just had the spicy chicken sandwich, and it was very good. It was very spicy, even the mild. Ooh, so you're saying that's a promotion? Like it's cheaper than normal? No, it's just they only have it right now. Oh. A shared so, hot take amongst us is and they that have the four levels of spice. Wow. Yeah, it's a whole thing. A shared hot take amongst us is that the chicken sandwich at Shake Shack is the best thing on the menu. I mean, that shit slaps. It's I really ordered good. 32 of them for a That's party. True. The only thing that... Back when parties were a thing. <laughs> the only thing that, that really parallels it is they have this, uh, the Smoke Shack burger, which is the burger with these like red peppers on it, and it's spicy, but it's so delicious, and I, nobody knows about it. I feel like nobody knows about it. I discovered it in the Eat the Menu Shake Shack, and it is now the burger that I order. Really? Yeah, and I had never had Sounds it Sounds kind of gross, to be honest. It's really Really good. They have these cherry peppers on it, so it's spicy and tangy. And boy, oh boy, is it delicious! I stand by. Check it. out your local Shake Shack yeah. today. Tell them Keith sent you. <laughs> Miles, what's your Chick Fil A opinion? Oh, it's hard not to buy shit from evil billionaires. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like really hard. That's a great yeah. point. Yeah. That's true. Because yeah. most of them are evil. Yeah. yeah are. It's like, yeah. You ever been to a, evil. You ever yeah. been to a concert? A lot of stuff was made about Coachella, but that dude also owns Live Nation, which runs just about every single concert. Yeah. So yep. what can you do? It's tough. I mean, one thing evil billionaires can do is not be so openly bigoted about their homophobia. Right. Yeah. Right. Secret right. bigotry. Right. Right. Like, <laughs> just like. Yeah, they spend advertise. a lot of money on a secret like super PAC to advertise or whatever. But I, I will say my one Chick Fil A thing because I grew up in Texas. I grew up with Chick Fil A. I always wanted it on Sunday. Yeah, that's mm. the issue. So yeah. that is the problem. <laughs> it is delicious, but fuck Chick Fil A for that already. I yeah. was upset. Same and with then In and Out. Haven't eaten it after. Yeah. Wait, they're closed on Sunday. Yeah, dude. As on no the bottom. Yeah, yeah, on the bottom of the oh, In and Out. They're, they're not closed. closed. They just they're love open the Lord. Lord. Yeah, they love the Lord. Uh, <laughs> can, can, we, can we get a fact check? Yeah, yeah, In-N-Out is on the bottom of the In-N-Out yeah. cup. It says John 316, whatever, one of them. 316. Did you just say 318? I don't know. I'm, I'm I can't Tim believe Tebow. I got that right. <laughs> yeah, John 316. Awesome 316. What, what is 316? John 316? Is that Jesus died for your sins? Mm, for God so loved the, the world that he gave his only this? son. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're open. They're open. Fuck. That whoever so believes right, well, in him will not yeah, perish, but have, have everlasting life. life. Thank you, Christian Woo! boy. Woo! Methodist, I had to sing a song version of it. <laughs> for God so loved the world <laughs> that he gave his <laughs> only son. <laughs> Our Lord. Never ever believed in him. Shall not perish, perish but will have everlasting <laughs> life. John 316 means you can be born again. There's very few moments I've hated on this show as much as that. <laughs> that is, and that's the word. Listen, uh, so that is the word. Damn. None of us are act, are eating Chick Fil A ever since all the homo yeah. homophobia and transphobia came out. So everyone gets top marks on that answer. Hey, hey. Gay rights all around. I'm so proud of everybody. Whee. But I don't believe in Jesus, so I get docked a point. Yeah. No, it's okay. It's okay. We're we're every so it's neck and neck, guys. Oh. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Rendering that last round completely meaningless. Wow. <laughs> What's, What's the, the word? word? What's, What's the, the word? word? What's, What's the word, word with you, Gene? Gene was like, come on now. So <laughs> yeah, do the like, song. I need the theme <laughs> song. I can't. I, that's the only way I'm activated. <laughs> yeah. It's his, it's like how Superman is powered by the sun. Gay rights. You wear clothes, right? Of course you do. If you don't, you aren't really accepted in society. Well, let me tell you about some new clothing. Cuts Clothing has completely changed the game. Their t-shirt has enough quality and style to wear in the office, on a date, or anywhere in between. I actually have myself some Cuts Clothing shirts. I have enjoyed them immensely. I feel good. Also, I'm a big boy, right? Like, I'm a tall guy, and I found that the t-shirts really fit me really well. Like, their sizing is just awesome for somebody like me. You don't have to choose between a classic look and a modern feel. You get both at the same time. And you can shop by cut. So you can choose your collar, a crew, a v-neck, or a henley. You choose your cut, elongated, split hem, or the classic curve hem. It's the Steve Jobs advantage. Stop looking at your closet and deciding how you're going to look. Just make it simple. Make stuff that's going to work for everything. Put on a nice shirt. Walk out the door. Have a great day. All those reasons and more is why Cuts is the only shirt worth wearing. Loved by your favorite athletes, entrepreneurs, and even podcast host, Winky Winky. It seems like everyone is wearing Cuts these days. Get 15% off your first order by going to CutsClothing.com slash TryGuys. That's CutsClothing.com slash TryGuys for 15 15% off the only shirt worth wearing. Yes. The word is, this is two words, so the phrase is <clears throat> leap year. Oh. What's y'all's opinions? I'm going to go ahead and say fuck leap years. Also, fuck daylight savings time. Why we got to get all wonky with the calendar? You Very know? different things. Same, same thing. <laughs> same thing. Very you know, different. You know who had the calendar figured out? The Mayans. You know who killed them? Colonizers. You know what we should do? We should go back to that standard. They had dope ass calendars. Our calendar is stupid and therefore it needs a leap year. I do like the circle calendar. The yeah. shape is beautiful. It I is. agree with that. Uh, I agree with daylight savings times. And I some people have been saying, you know, the pandemic, this is the perfect time to kill it, yeah. right? It's everything is all fucked up anyway. Just get rid of it. No one will notice and it'll be great because we won't have to live like these crazy, like dark mornings where you're like, it's well, it's eight o'clock, but it's still pitch black outside, I guess. <laughs> uh, I just I hate that. But I think leap year is awesome and necessary. Otherwise, we would slowly uh, 
every you know every four years get cl- like shift seasons and be confusing to us in the calendar year and eventually christmas Aww. would happen in march season that'd be pretty cool though because the be world wrong. observes It'd leap year, right? The entire world observes. The whole yeah, world observes. Yeah, because yeah. the whole world doesn't observe. Because there's savings. actually it's three hundred sixty five point two five. It's days about the in a solar year. system. It's yeah. not about the clock. It's bigger or than the, us. The timetable. <laughs> it's, it's bigger, bigger than, than us. Guys. Yeah, that is kind of beautiful. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. very few things that the entire world mm-hmm. agrees Everybody's on. Everybody's got to do it. Wow. And that's pre- okay. I, I agree. I think it's pretty freaking awesome. And the reason is that. But then also. So if you're born on leap day, I mean, it's first of all, it's a whole extra day that you just get as like a bonus. And if mm. you're born on leap day, that means you're technically a quarter of the age of everyone else. Yeah. You're a 40 year old man. So, nope. Guess again. You're a 10 year old boy. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my problem, though. Leap the leap year day, leap day, free day. How dare they make anyone do anything? Yeah, I agree. It's true. It should be an automatic vacation day for the be, world. It should be called Boinko Day. It should be the purge. And it should just be <laughs> no, everybody does whatever no, they want. Exactly. No, 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 no. You no. should be no, able no. to murder. No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> Miles, what's your leap day opinion? Boinko Day. Amy Adams is like super talented. <laughs> <laughs> that, That's the, nice. Is that fun. the leap year movie with Matthew Good and Amy Adams? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also, do you know that you saw Sharp Objects? She was in Julie and Julio with the same dude. Yeah. <laughs> I you mean, know, I love this Amy Adams sequel? conversation. Yeah. I love Amy Adams. Oh, she's awesome. Um, you know what? You're I already points. have some points <gasps> lined up. Yeah, yeah. So I think... Uh, what do you I, think about leap years? I think that they're necessary for, for science based on what we've already discussed. <laughs> I think that gives... <laughs> just because Ned had a really great joke about the 10 to 40. Mm-hmm. He gets first points. Keith, you get the second points. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, Miles, you pulled ahead with yeah. that Amy Adams reference. Whoa. You, you got my gay ass on that. And Zach, <laughs> you got my gay ass on that. <laughs> Com- <laughs> a t- 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 new t-shirt. Got my <laughs> gay ass on that. Show won. Okay, yeah, a new Casio keyboard. Zach, I think you came out strong, but you did conflate daylight savings with yeah. leap year. So you got to start pulling up the rear. I believe in you. Hey, that's fine, man. I'm going to pull up that rear. I'm going to get your ass. All right. That's right. Get my gay ass. <laughs> What's the word? What's the word? What's the word with Eugene? Ooh, the word <laughs> is voicemail. Voicemail. Okay, voicemail is the absolute worst. All right, like it, the, I, it, it's great that you can leave me a message, but the, the like everyone takes so long to get to the point in voicemail messages when I have to listen to a voicemail message and just hear someone be like. Um, yeah, anyways, um, we were trying to, uh, it's either like a spam caller or someone that really could have communicated the point by texting. I, yep. The the minute they, they invented like voicemail transcription services, Brilliant. changed mm. Brilliant. my life. Mm. I, I. Now, I don't think I ever listen to voicemails. I just read the transcription and I either delete it immediately or call the person back. I am such a staunch opposer of voicemails <gasps> that I do not have a voicemail box. You can't Whoa. leave me one. Whoa. Yep. Uh, and there's many reasons, but mostly it was because there's so many ways to contact me and that's the worst. So I'm going to remove it. And then second was, now that we're public figures, I didn't want people to know if they had correctly found yeah. my number. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, it doesn't even say you've reached this number. It just says, the person who has this has not activated their voicemail Oh, box. I didn't even know you could do that. It's, I never set it up. I so, got the new phone and like never set it up. Mm-hmm. Genuinely, probably a bi-weekly conversation I have with my grandmother is she'll send me a text. I'll miss her call because like I'm in the shower. And then she'll send me a text like, hi, sweetie, your voicemail box is full. And I'm like, yeah. I know. <laughs> That's the point. Uh-huh. <laughs> but it uh-huh. means so much to her to be able to leave me a voicemail. And actually, okay, we all are anti-voicemail. However, there is something about voicemails that I do like. I have kept voicemails from all of the significant mm. people in my life. Yeah. Uh, uh, birthday messages. This is actually maybe a little dark, but like I have ones from grandparents who have passed away. And it mm. need, like, oh, and yeah. in my mind, this is where it gets dark. I'm like, I want to have a record of their voice in case something happens, to have this recording of them. Uh, oh, shit, I do that too. Yeah, it's sweet, right? Yeah, I have like my mom calling me <laughs> mm-hmm. a- after Wes was born. Aww. I have the first ever voicemail message that Ariel left me when uh, she was when she was just playing whoa. phone tag. To like, wow. we had we like started dating right very close to Christmas holiday. 
so we just like called each other a lot in uh -huh. our early you know dating uh, basically we just had like phone conversations as dates for like hours mm -hmm. uh you guys on that voice. Fuck, Zach. That's I, a romantic, good point. dude. Romantic. That's a good point. Miles, you, you romantic with the voicemails? You hate them. I love a voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. I think that they're a good opportunity to leave your friend like a silly message. So sometimes I'll call a friend and be like, yo, your fucking feet stank. Uh. <laughs> Very funny. And kind of like do it. We and my friend did like a tag team rap battle over the course of a couple months. We just call, get their voicemail. And then he called me one time and I picked up and he was like, hey, hang up and then don't answer my next call so I can leave you a voicemail. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. You guys on that voice memo game where you go to your text messages and then you'll just send off like a 30 second uh, voice text. Uh -huh. Love that shit. And yeah, then it disappears. Good. Yeah. Yeah, I like so you that. can be a secret spy. I like that. I little, like that it disappears. Little spy in disguise yeah, like, starring Will Smith Did you and tell Tom me Holland. that? I don't know. Did I? I'll do like little video, video text messages, which is basically like Snapchat except through text uh -huh. messages. I do that. <laughs> it's, it's betraying my age, but all well, my friends are not on Snapchat, so what can you do? Hmm. This is interesting. Mm -hmm. I think, Zach, you're going to get the top points. Woo! Wow. Uh -oh. You brought up the, the sentimental You swerved yeah. with that sentimental uh -huh. baby. Yeah, I'll swerve oh, sometimes. I will say I do I mean, personally dislike it because there's this phenomenon that only affects Asians. Oh, yeah, I have right. a Chinese, I could have, have be Chinese because my last name is Yang. So there's this whole scam where they have all these like automated machines with uh, Chinese voicemails telling people with Asian last names that you owe the Chinese government money. Oh man. So they make millions of dollars a year Whoa. because they leave all these voice emails and they just are targeting hopefully illegal immigrants. Mm. That's like the idea in their head that they're gonna get their money because they get scared that, oh, China needs your money. So I, I used to get like five a day at some point. That's yeah. fucked up. Wow. But also, should we start doing that? <laughs> <laughs> Ned, for that, you're getting last okay. place. <laughs> 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 uh, you know, say like, Millions? Of Miles, dollars? <laughs> Miles, I liked your weird silliness with this. I'm giving you second, Keith, just because you ended up talking first. You're, you're getting second to last, but this is anyone, still like anyone's call third. game. <laughs> still anyone's game. Still anyone's game. What's the word? Oh, what's, what's the word? word? What's, what's the word? word? Eugene. What's the word with Eugene? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're falling apart. Oh, shit. I can't do it unless you're in unison. Okay, yeah. What's, what's the, the word? Two? What's the word? <laughs> <laughs> On the ones and oh, the threes, Zach. I feel Zach. bad that I want to scam all those people. <laughs> it's a game. What's, what's the, the word? word? What's, what's the word? word? What's the word with Eugene? The word is <laughs> layover. Ooh. Oh. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I kind of like a nice hour and a half to two hour layover because I like to explore the airport. Uh, sometimes airports have little wine bars and mm -hmm. some of those wine bars do like flights and you can get like three glasses of like three mini glasses of wine or you can go have a local fast food chain that maybe you don't have here when i go through atlanta sometimes i get the bojangles fried chicken because <gasps> i have no access to bojangles anywhere else so i kind of like slightly longer layovers they also give you a padding if your uh, plane is delayed but i kind of like airports mm -hmm. i know that's weird but they're kind of fun keith I'm with you. Yeah. A 45 minute hour long layover, no good. You Enough. might as well just get nonstop. But yeah. a two hour layover mm -hmm. where you can just like get a little funky with it, uh -huh. like have a nice relaxing like four glass of wine lunch. Uh huh. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's good. And also, one time when I flew to South Africa, I had a four day layover <laughs> in Paris. Wow. It That's stops not a layover. Through Paris. <laughs> It's a stay. And, and it's a stay, <laughs> but it was the same exact price as because it just sort of like counted as a layover uh, in the system. Wow. That's awesome. It was pretty cool. That's a very cool. I know I've heard of people who use, there's a way to buy plane tickets where you actually, you like, you buy a, something with a layover, but then you actually take a second flight as your second half. So you don't use the second like part of your flight, right? So I want to go to Florida, let's say. But um, I I don't know. Yeah, let's say I want to go to Florida. <laughs> That's a crazy idea. Um, but I could buy a, a ticket to Chicago through Denver and then actually take a flight from Denver, Denver to Florida that would actually be cheaper 
somehow. Too much work. That I, it's so bizarre, but people yeah. do that. Or That's know what it is? Tough. It's the opposite. It's like, I want to fly to Denver, but it's cheaper for me to buy a ticket to Chicago through Denver. Oh, wow. And I just yeah. don't complete so wait, the flight. Wait, how are you getting to Florida? That's, I, I got to drive. Do you have to re-enter security? <laughs> no. In uh, Florida? Yeah, well, in Florida, yeah. <laughs> but no, the idea, I, I mess it up. It's yeah. that you you jump out halfway through your flight. That's yeah. crazy. It's what cheaper about you, way. Zach? Growing up, I loved a good layover. You know, you stay over with your friends. You stay up all night. You make popcorn. Whoever falls asleep first, you dip their hand in the hot water, make Wait, them pee their pants. Second. You're watching that staticky HBO what? channel, trying Wait, to see the new video. Yeah. Right? Wait. Uh, Did it again. Oh, I'm so silly. A sleepover. Daylight uh, savings layover. I would. I will always pay more money to not have a layover. Uh, direct flight. Because like most of my flights, New York to LA. Mm -hmm. If you're telling me I need to add another two, three hours mm -hmm. to that journey, well, not certainly a if chance. it's a red eye, you don't want two hours mm -hmm. in the middle of the night. I do wonder though, as I am older though, like I have chronic pain and I can't be on a plane too long. So maybe, you know, having a layover so I can pop out, do some yoga <laughs> in the terminal. Cut your legs a little bit. Yeah. You know? I do. I will always take a layover to fly into Burbank rather than LAX because Burbank. You would rather do a layover. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, for sure. 100% of no. the time. Now I nah. live further, nah. I live nah. further from the airport no. than you did. You live oh, different yeah. places than we, we live 10 minutes away from Burbank <laughs> no. airport. Don't shake your head that vehemently. Yeah. If you had my life, <laughs> if you had my life, <laughs> if you had my life, you, my life, you oh. would understand. But the question is, would you do a layover because you can go into a preferred airport? That's kind yes. of the, oh, the yeah. pitch, yeah. yeah, yeah. How yes. long are we talking here? Uh, well, typically, this is this scenario is typically going to Chicago. It means I'm going to lay over in Vegas, uh, and it's I will take a short layover in Vegas. Also, sometimes it's just the kind where the plane lands, if, then you keep flying. If it's scheduled appropriately around like lunchtime or dinner yeah. time, a long layover is great. Also, none of you guys have kids, but if you did, you would understand that having a kid and entertaining them for six hours in a plane flight pretty tough yeah but Kinda also nice. getting all their shit off the plane and getting a little knapsack like and i said baby seat if you had a little... kid you'd understand <laughs> <laughs> my life <laughs> my life no no miles what's your layover uh opinion you can find me in the hudson books on my tummy <laughs> <laughs> reading entertainment <laughs> week <laughs> yeah queen am i uh, the only <laughs> anti lay that is crazy to me direct flights all you know what? i'm, well, I'm doubling course, down sorry miles go on of uh, course direct flights are yeah. better but like if you're gonna it, Not there are I'm hearing if there are <laughs> times over, stay away there are times <laughs> when like <laughs> yeah don't be mad at it just embrace it get stay your while. you know overpay for your your chair massage uh-huh like I said, four glasses of wine at lunch. I like it to feel like Castaway, where like I kind of live in the airport. You mean the terminal? The terminal, yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. Other Tom Hanks. Uh, 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 <laughs> yes. Castaway. Like wrong, layover. wrong movie. But eventually they both have they flight. both have planes. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Terminal where he kind of lives there because then it's like if I'm there for a couple hours, then I kind of like hey, it was a uh, you know to have the flight attendants and stuff like I know him. Not only do I hate layovers, I want my time in the airport to be as minimal as possible. I cut it so fucking close that like I want to be the last person on that plane. I want to basically miss it every single You're time. You're such a risky flyer. We, we Hell don't yeah. like that about you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess we how many travel together quite often. Well, guess how many flights I've missed. One, two, <laughs> two. two. It's happened two. twice. I remember two. <laughs> Listen, this is all very intelligent discussion. I got to say, if you're closest to my opinion, I am notoriously not very big of a, much of a fan of flying. So yeah. I'm going to have to give Zach the points. That makes sense. Yeah. I'm going to give Miles the least points <laughs> for fair for saying he's going to stay in a terminal <laughs> and be cast away and stare yeah. at people. Fair. And then I... You guys you just can you guys Rochambeau real quick for a second? Sure, on, sure. on shoot. Yeah, on shoot. On shoot. Rock, One, paper, two, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Ooh, Rock, tie. Paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, oh, Ned's Ned got, got it. it. All right. Wait, do you were you about to say the same story? Was it when we were landing in Texas? So Eugene no. hates flying. Oh, this and is good. And our airplane was landing. And so you're going down, you're going down. And then all of a sudden. That was in it, New York, I think. Was it? Yeah. It, it then uh -huh. starts accelerating like crazy ah. and rips up going north. Oh, oh my God. And we all Terrifying. just like. Ooh! It was like oh. literally, you know, you were maybe 100 feet off the ground almost at the runway, and then it accelerated like I've never felt before, and then took off again because there was a plane on the runway. 
<laughs> oh, it so, so it was scary. a swerve, oh. and everyone on the plane went, "We're gonna die!" Like it was a mo moment. I of, like, was like, it's accelerating for some reason. I wow. heard about this. Yeah, How they practiced. Those. I was they practiced excited, those. and then I looked to Eugene, and I felt bad because I knew that he was shitting bricks. It was like <laughs> the. Uh, it's the only time I could be called white. <laughs> I was a ghost. Coors Seltzer ain't your average seltzer, baby. Rooted in Coors' long history of sustainability, they were inspired by a generation that wants to do good in the world with a mission to restore America's rivers. Coors Seltzer is launching the world's easiest volunteer program. Whatever you're doing, by simply cracking open a can of Coors Seltzer, you're volunteering. Look, our waterways are at risk. 80% of America's rivers are drying up. Through a partnership with Change the Course, Coors Seltzer is helping to protect and restore America's rivers. There are four refreshing flavors and one cool cause. Enjoy naturally flavored black cherry, mango, lemon lime, and grapefruit. The specs are in. Coors Seltzer is 4.5% ABV and only 90 calories. Count them. I mean, I'm so into the Coors Seltzer train. They're delicious. And also the fact that, that there is an environmental cause aligned with it. I think everybody can get behind that right now. The environment is something we should care about. And we need more and more big companies to care about it and do something about it. Coors is leading the charge both in flavor and sustainability. We love that, baby. Join the world's easiest volunteer program by simply drinking Coors Seltzer. You can volunteer to restore America's rivers. You buy Coors Seltzer. You help restore 500 gallons of water into America's rivers. It's that simple. Visit CoorsSeltzer.com to find Coors Seltzer near you. That's CoorsSeltzer.com. For every 12-pack sold through August 31st, 2021, Coors will purchase services from Change the Course to restore 500 gallons of fresh river water. Details at CoorsSeltzer.com. Celebrate responsibly. Coors Brewing Company, Fort Worth, Texas. I was going to say is the one we were in the Singapore airport and we were on the way home and we walked around for hours trying to find these secret massage chairs that were supposed to exist. <laughs> oh my and after God. Ne and like we're carrying all of our luggage around. So it's hurting our backs. Becky and, and I were adamant on finding these. And then eventually mm. we gave up and just bought massages from the massage guys <laughs> in the <laughs> airport because we were so set on getting a massage, a free massage that yeah. we just paid oh, for some you know, free like sitting chairs. It's yeah. the decision mm -hmm. point where you've spent too long on something so then there's a point where you say i've spent so long in this i'm going to keep doing it even if it kills me uh -huh. or you give up it's on cost foul but it was cost the best massage i've ever had you know how when you get a massage and you want them really to work on like one area and like just work on the problem area but they do the whole body no this guy worked on the one area for 30 minutes that's awesome it was incredible and he was a strong old asian man and he <laughs> ripped my back apart <laughs> mm, yeah, if i could do a layover excellent. at the singapore airport that's different. That's and a cool he airport. hunted the whole time. It was uh, awkward, but it was good. <laughs> he awesome was like, and awkward. It was uh, awkward. It was like really intense oh grunting. God. But he worked the knots out of my back. Uh, Hot. Nice. You know, it is funny. Your love of layovers, I recall, you went... I think an hour or two hours earlier. Many to, hours early. To the I airport think six thing. hours early. I I'm like Maggie and I were like, well, there. we're not gonna do that. Let's go to a hawker center and get like one last great meal. But the meal. Singapore <laughs> airport's different. That's like a a theme park. We got such good Xiaolong Bao at that airport. It was probably some of the best Xiaolong Bao I've wow. ever had in my life, and it was in an airport. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. so good. Did you make it to the Pokemon store? Oh, we did. You did. Oh, okay, we good, sure good. Took so many did. pictures. Took a lot of pictures. Also had a great time. Also, the lady at the Xiaolong Bao place was like, that's too many. And we're like, no, it's not. <laughs> she, said, she said, that's too many. And I said, no, it's not. <laughs> and she and said, it, okay, and you're going to be not. wrong. And we ate them all. Yeah, yeah. of course you did. Nice. She was like, that's too many. And then you many. looked her in the eyes and you said, now what? Now what? Now what? You said, give me another. <laughs> I, we, I wanted more. They were honestly some of the best I've ever had. What's, What's the word? word? What's, What's the word? word? What's the word with Eugene? Oh uh, shit! Whoa, <laughs> this one's gonna be. I think Spicy. people are in a fight. <gasps> Whoa, Atlantis. <laughs> oh, the lost city people are gonna fight of Atlantis. Atlantis. Oh, what? I always think of the commercial of that one resort somewhere in the Bahamas that had the water slide that went under the sharks. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. all I ever think yeah, about. Yeah. My Atlantis sister now. got to go and I Are didn't. You kidding me? I'm so mad. It's real? It's real. <laughs> Classic resort. Did name. she go down the slide? Of course she went down the slide. What else do you fucking do there? Whoa. And you know who else was there while she was there? Jay Z. Uh, oh, that'd be so cool. <laughs> no, uh, Phil of Phil of the Future fame. <gasps> and she stalked him all weekend long. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, I'm so sorry, Phil, if you're watching. Uh, <laughs> Stephanie apologizes. Wow. 
Did you guys ever go to any of those things you saw on a TV commercial? I know this is sort of a side tangent of Atlantis, but like a place you saw as a kid and idolized and imagined would be amazing and actually went. Oh yeah, Slitter, Slitterbond. Oh god, hottest cool time in Texas. So yeah, bad. best best water park. Do you think in the they nation? would open wow. up privately for us if we made a dope video <sighs> there, having a fun time? Slitterbond, you listening? Maybe Slitterbond road trip. I will drive. Yeah, there. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I will. T- I will take y'all to Slitterbond one day. We're gonna be eighty years old. We can't go with. We have to, it has to be closed down just for us for many reasons. <laughs> but by the time we're 80, by the time we're 80, no one's going to care. You know, that's true. But we're, then my we're, body will break. Yeah, on the we water might slide. die. I'll <laughs> die. I'll <laughs> die on it. <laughs> already, I mean, already, I, I have a mixed feelings about water parks because when you're going down that slide, the little ridges in between the tubes just doosh, 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 and like rip your back you apart. Go the tube slides. Those are when better. When you go yeah. on an inner tube. Love you get, that. They're faster, they're safer, they're fun. Yeah. Especially when it drops straight down. Oh, that's so scary. <laughs> I love it. I okay. like the the, the 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 like the vert ramp. Back to oh. Atlantis, yeah. right. my bad, though. My bad, my bad, my bad. I mean, look, do I think there is a lost civilization, lost to time, hidden under the ocean? Absolutely. Absolutely, I do. <laughs> 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 there's more people for sure. There, There's so many cool things about believing in Atlantis. It's like, why would you want to live in a world where magic doesn't exist? Just think of it as if it does, and then it make it true. Like... There's so many things we don't know about ancient civilizations. Damn right. You know, just because we can't find it yet doesn't mean it doesn't exist. And there's all these, there's all these stories of of places that fell into the ocean. Either comes to like there's a volcano or there's an earthquake <laughs> or landslide. Where on the map do you think it is, Ned? Uh, the Mediterranean. Oh, yeah. really? Okay. Cool. 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 Do you do you think? Is there a like young adult like fiction series that's basically Harry Potter but mermaids and they go to Atlantis and there's like a place to yeah, learn to be there, a mermaid? There has to be. And Instead of getting a, a letter in the, from an owl, you just get a fish flopping yeah, on your fish, doorstep. <laughs> like you go, you know, and a fish do, like coughs up uh, like a medallion and you touch it and suddenly you grow a tail. Whoa. I just want to say, uh, underrated Disney film. You know, they said that the golden age was over. Sure, that's true. But Milo, I feel like. I look like a poor man's Milo. I wish that I could pull off that look. Mm. It's a pretty yeah. good and movie. And Atlantis isn't bad. Pretty not good Disney bad. movie. I will say since we all have childhood wonder and we're not dicks, we're going to say Atlantis is real. So what my judging will be on is tell me, what sort of sea science do you think that they have down there? And give me the one example you think is the coolest, that it combines technology and something in the ocean. Mm. Uh, fish... Uh, fish powered turbines where there's just a bunch of fish and they're like mice running in wheels but they're just fish pushing with their little tails to push a big gear and that's how they pay power they enslave fish got it okay cool fish slavery <laughs> okay that's that took a hard turn okay. uh they 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 research the deep sea vent creatures that all are all psychedelic and have weird eyeballs and then they cut out their own eyes and replace it with deep sea fish eyeballs Ooh. so that they're seeing the colors of the rainbow they're seeing all <laughs> the terrifying. different all the it's so dark down at the bottom of the sea but if you got angler fish eyeballs yeah. you can see everything you can see see heat you can see color so genetic modification genetic modification and yeah slavery. and okay. you're you have like glow in the dark tattoos <laughs> got it damn i was just gonna say like little seahorses that give you massages or something that's, that's, pretty, that's, that's not too. bad that's i wouldn't yeah, bail pretty, on that idea pretty, pretty pretty <laughs> okay you got little seahorses and they give you massages it's also kind of fish servitude it's fi- it's miles fish let's, what are you what is it your pitch <laughs> probably like a tuna nuke <laughs> so <laughs> weapons of mass destruction I yeah, like a nuke that's tuna <laughs> that kind of destroys civilizations. Made oh. out of tuna? Made out of tuna. Yum. Yeah, <laughs> so probably just like, like fish falling on. Yeah, the fish just... kind of goes and then just detonates and it sort of is like <laughs> massive. Fish, fish bombs, fish nukes. Yeah, fish tuna nukes. nukes. You see tuna Watchmen, nuke. you know, yeah. rain squid from tuna the nuke sky. Tuna nuke casserole. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Wow. Yeah, yeah wow. That's uh, <laughs> all very dark answers. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm thinking I'm going to have to go rank from darkest to lightest, but I'll, I'll do lightest in top top place. So, you know, you know this, uh, Atlantis, we want to make a nice place. So, uh, yeah. Tuna Nuke goes at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Uh-huh. More, more into it, yeah. Yeah, I guess. We- oh, oh, man. Weapons of bass destruction. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So I didn't wow. like I didn't like fish slavery, but that pun put you at the top. <laughs> You're all the way up. You know, uh, Zach. 
sea ho- cute little seahorse with massage. E- but you get to wear a seaweed robe. Oh, oh. <laughs> and they fillet you. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna have to give you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm gonna have to give that. you second place, Ned. I'll take the, it. The, the the fish eyes also kind of implies that they then kill the other the other creatures. No, nope, you the take eyes. it from cadavers, baby. Oh, still still somewhat dark. <laughs> as long as they're organ donors on their on their mer card. <laughs> You think in Atlantis they eat fish, obviously, but then they also but they live use, with fish. They the live fish with people. fish, so that's yeah. like what they, they are fish. So I, yeah, is it cannibalistic to eat fish? Damn. Shoot, we skipped over gills as lungs. We eat mammals. Mm, we it's a given. <laughs> <laughs> I always think about the Futurama Lost City of Atlanta episode. It's a great, <laughs> great episode. Oh, where it. they yeah the classic. Yeah. Uh-huh. Where, how do we do it? Mm-hmm. How do they have sex? I bet the coolest thing would be like little films of like bubbles where you can like swim through the bubble and then it's oxygen on one side. And You're it's just like picturing in the water. first Star Wars. Yeah, man. <laughs> Gungan City. That's my <laughs> oh, Atlantis. Oh, shit, bro. Gungan City. I, I, as much as the Gungans were confusing, I loved their <laughs> reality. <laughs> it was awesome. Every time I go to Disney on the Star Wars ride, I only get Gungan I, City. Everyone gets fucking I, oh. goo. Are they... Are they they're amphibious, but they're like generally they're like fo- frog esque because some of them are more frog like. I mean, they're right? very yeah. clearly like Caribbean, right? Yeah, they're whoa. <laughs> so I, yeah, they're Caribbean <laughs> frogs. Am I not? Am I mis- misremembering it that they have like they're, they're, there's some they're, problematic they're, racial things? Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Posed ethnicity, perhaps. Yeah, uh, I but, just like Boss Nass and the ending. Seals up a big glow. So you're basically saying that maybe the prequels, as they age, the Gungans were the best part. Yeah, I think so. I'll defend that. The world was the best. <laughs> the ships were cool. The tech was dope. And the Naboo Starfighter. And also, yeah. they all agreed that Jar Jar sucked. Ah, uh, so they the, were the rest of the Gungan yeah. race, is like, yeah. this which is idiot. crazy. <laughs> this idiot. <laughs> He's really an exception to who we are. But then in the end, he became like a senator, didn't he? Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, so as jokes on them. Uh, well, as we've proven this year, it doesn't take much intelligence to get elected. Hey, oh, hey, hey. Anyway, smart he elected. I think he was nice. like the assistant uh, he senator. Was appointed, yeah. yeah, he was appointed. Okay. <laughs> last the round. Last round. Yeah. All right. All right. Vice senator. The final word. The final, final word. word. The final word with Eugene. Final round. Oh, That's a good one. My. Oh shit. God, oh, guys. Shit. I'm going to show you this because what? I am not even joking. What? The word is try. No! Whoa! 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 The word wow. is try. Wow. Wow. Holy! I don't even wow. shit. I feel like nothing we say can live up to this. No. Wow. Well, oh. this is kind of open game. Like, Good word. Let me know what you think about the word try. Wow. Well, I cannot cannot speak to it because truly the only way to experience the beauty of the word try is to embody it. Mm. And and if there were a quartet of beautiful boys that tried, well, dare I say that would be the greatest channel in the history of the internet. It's an action verb. <laughs> and then Miles. Four hot bosses. Hey, hey man, sure. Miles, you got top points Woo! on that one. You are, <laughs> such, you are such a simp for Eugene. I, I did, I did like in school learning about action verbs. Yeah. It sounded like it was a more exciting moment in English class. Mm-hmm. Action verb. You know, maybe because I was, uh, it was, I was kind of drowning in the sentimentality of the previous two answers. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give you second place. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, it really That's perked nice. me up. I yeah. basically just copied Ned. I'll take bottom. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take bottom? That's fine. In this, in this cruise ship. Yeah, that's where that's, I can hang out with Keith. You get to dance. All right. You know what? You and Ned can both take bottom. Hey, <laughs> wow. bottom bunk bros. I, it's really banking on third place there. <laughs> <laughs> I needed it. I needed it. <laughs> Uh, all right, I'll give, you, I'll give you the third. I'll give you the third. Nice. nice. All right, so uh, I'm going to tabulate these as we okay. go to, oh. of course, uh, what tripod is 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 complete without advice pr- that will go for Miles <laughs> yeah. with Miles Bonsignore. Bonsignore. Yeah. I'm ready for a new edition, Miles. This, we've been, <laughs> yeah. You've been slacking. Yeah. You used to give us new ones. Yeah. Miles, so many ones. I'll make a new one. This is the so the same. People you have, have been sending me something. That's been fun. Yeah, why aren't you playing those? Well, just because this, you know. Stop the music! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> We're gonna sing you a new theme song right the fuck now. All right. Oh, I kind of like it. That it's always the same, you know. It Hit gives it, me Keith. Something to look forward it's to. It's advice that'll go for miles. You can put it in your bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> it's not better. <laughs> it's not better. <laughs> Down the hill. Huh. It's advice that'll go, go for, for miles. miles. What's up, Miles <laughs> Nation? Oh, back Mike. with the voices. <laughs> How we doing, Kiwis? Uh oh. Mm. Have you ever wanted to be a confident little man? <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you ever wanted your feetsies to be sexy? Yeah. Big old dancing shoes. I gotta go. I'm supposed to be on a call. Oh, okay. <laughs> Big old dancing shoes. <laughs> My sack. Big old dancing. Everyone's on their phones. Every well, single person is on their I'm phone. Worried that I'm Every single a, guy is on I, their phone. I was like, oh, I'm <laughs> what time is am I, am I missing an appointment? It must be pretty late if he's got to go. We'll make this one quick. <laughs> Get stylish high top sneakers, you stinky wiener. You want high top sneakers? I wear high top sneakers and it makes me feel like a confident little man. The but tongue, I, the tongue is so big. That's big, but Keith, you also have cool sneakers, and that's part of the thing. Is if you wear cool sneakers, you're gonna have a big old dick, and you're gonna be cool and hot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I think that it's kind of like you know, sneaker. <laughs> the sneakers make the man, etc. But mm-hmm. if you have a cool sneaker, if you feel like I can't really be confident in my clothing, people are gonna tease me. Get a sneaker that fits the vibe, Ned. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. <laughs> and you can wear that sneaker and be like, look at me. I'm kind of a cool guy, but I skateboard maybe. But I don't actually. I, those sneakers look nice. Thanks, man. They're skateboard sneakers, but I don't skateboard. But mm-hmm. I am trying oh. to learn. You oh. know who doesn't wear high tops? What's that? The guy who just left the podcast. Yeah. Because he wants to show off his ankles. Mm-hmm. I know, but I feel like when I'm wearing high tops, it's like wearing big old moon boots. I like the moon boot feel. Yeah. So I feel like I enjoy that. It, yeah, I, they're too big for me. I do want to learn how to skateboard. And I think that I bought them initially being like, they're skate shoes. Yeah. I never did that. I Have liked, you guys ever thought to try guys try skateboarding? I always liked the vibe of skateboard shops in malls. Yeah. But I personally never had a desire to skateboard. But I liked wearing Vans. Mm-hmm. I liked being... Uh, adjacent to the culture of skateboarding but it was not I was always afraid I'd fall down and get hurt yeah I tried it once and I did fall down and get hurt and then I was like oh I don't want to do that again yeah it's dangerous you know I like the high top advice because it's kind of like the sports side of getting used to an ankle boot oh I think men look Uh very dashing in a good ankle boot definitely Mm. I can I can get behind taller boots and like fashionable boots suede boots leather boots I'm yeah. very into boots yeah. I'm looking forward to it being cold again yeah get my boots I out. do have a new pair of suede boots that I haven't worn I've had them for almost a year because I didn't like weather treat them and then I got them in like January when it's rainy all the time so I, then I put them in a closet and forgot but I got these new boots I've been itching to wear and mm-hmm. high, high top sneakers make you feel like you're good at sports like I can feel like I could pick up a basketball and feel totally at home <laughs> you know, yeah, but I, I, I can't. You can't. Did everybody no, assume you so played tall, basketball? Though. You were yeah, tall. exactly. People always be like, "You probably play basketball, right?" But in high school, I played ultimate frisbee. That's also good for being tall. Also good for being tall, but not as respected. I want to see. No, I want to see. Not nearly as respected. What if it's tall guys who can't play basketball play basketball? Mm. I want to see like Keith versus Miles. One on one basketball. That's yeah, that's <laughs> it's funny. really funny. Well, both Ooh, who so do I think would win? <laughs> <laughs> I'm be Have you played a game of basketball? It's nonstop. The last time I played was almost a decade ago, and we, I played it with some <laughs> friends, and I was beat red. I couldn't catch my breath. I was oh, like, yeah. "This game is demanding." <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're. Uh, it's a. It's exploring a stereotype, a soft stereotype in yeah. a fun way. Like it's like. Like stereo hype. Right? Yeah. Oh. You're defying uh. all that stereo hype. Yeah. Mm. You're tall. You must play basketball. Yeah. Well. That people think that. And you'll be like, no, Miles mm. and I, we're going to prove you wrong right now. <laughs> <Check> <laughs> it's not going to be good. It's going to be embarrassing. <laughs> Slow mo shots of us just kind of leaning down and taking a deep breath. <laughs> oh my God. I remember, I almost passed out. I, I like, I was like losing my, I was seeing blurry vision. I was like, I was so tired. Was it full court? 
Yeah, it was full court. It was, but it, it wasn't even a full size full court. It was a smaller full court. It was like in a Marriott. Still though, you know, it was like wow. a residence in how they sometimes have basketball. One courts. thing if it's half court where you're just you're, you're like moving back and forth is the main exertion. But if you yeah. got to do all that jumping back and forth, and then you have to do go a jog oh. back and forth like the full court. Eventually, oh, you're just like so tired. Uh, let him score. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get him when they come over let here. Score. I'm gonna <laughs> hang out by this basket. Speaking of score. <gasps> Oh, Ooh. my God. Hit me with that score theme What's song. What's the score? What's the score? What's, What's the, the score, score with Eugene? Eugene? Um, do we need a ranking or should I just tell you first? Yeah, tell us first place. All right. So the official winner of the first What's the Word with this Eugene is the person game. Whose point of view is the most similar to yours. And therefore Share the all best the person. <laughs> For the best. Yeah. That person is... <gasps> Mr. Keith Habersberger. Hey. Wow, Keith, you, you guys are, are the soulmates. Wow. You get for your prize, um, pride. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Wear that on your sleeve. Suck it, Chick fil A. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Suck it. You got my gay ass good, Keith. Oh, thank you, man. You're I, welcome. I, think we, I think this could be a limited edition shirt. <laughs> You well, I guess I, I guess that's your prize is my gay ass. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's a good prize. Treat wow. it well. I will. Well, thanks for listening, everyone. Be sure to subscribe and rate us five stars. Yeah. Check out my new podcast, Baby Steps. Search for Baby Steps or YouTube.com slash Baby Steps. We got new merch at TryGuys.com. You can wear it to support the show. And we got all new extra exclusive episodes and bonus content at Patreon.com slash TryGuys. Join our community of 5,000 Triceratops strong. With that said... I'm wrapping up my game show. <laughs> Hit us with the tripod. What's the word with Eugene theme song? Keith. When you're riding on your bicycle and you think of a really funny word, you could send it to us at one of our emails or maybe a new one that Miles makes. We've got Woo! seven emails for the tribe. <laughs> uh, they're all slightly different, but they're all the same. And if you want to hear this show again, just remember that show's name. It's What's the Word with Eugene. Until next time, stay beautiful. Miles, you got last place. Oh, I love you. Oh, well, <laughs> maybe now you got maybe you got first place now, Miles. Oh, no.